Welcome to the first week of our first LEGO League Challenge season. This season is called Masterpiece, and each week we'll be diving into a different section of the visual arts and ways that people share about their ideas, their hobbies. This week, we're learning all about museums. Museums are a great place for people to learn about things that they may not have access to at home or around the world, and it's a great way to give people immersive experiences. Our three mission models that we'll be building this week as part of our first LEGO League meeting are the augmented reality, the virtual reality sculpting, as well as the immersive art experience. These are three cool models that are gonna show off some different mechanical designs. This one's pretty neat in the way that it uses levers, and so each model has an orange piece attached to it, and that's kind of your hint that that is where your robot should be interacting with the model. Now, you don't have to interact with that orange piece, but that is usually the, the part of the model that moves. And so today we're gonna to be going through and building these three models and we'll walk you through those builds as well as show you where to get the directions. And you can see how we put these models together so that you can build them with your own Legos. Next, we have our VR sculpting model. And this one's pretty cool. I like the chicken that is in the very front of this. And I can see the VR goggles right on top of this one. This one is neat in that it uses a couple of gear mechanisms inside here. We've got a worm gear, which a worm gear is one of those that has a pretty high gear ratio in that it takes about 24 turns of that typically to turn a tooth just one time. But each time you turn this, it turns that worm gear just a little bit, which is going to turn our chicken. And to get full points, you need to turn this chicken all the way around until it covers up the lavender dot. We're gonna start building our mission models for week one of First Lego League Masterpiece. And we're gonna get our directions for this model, and if you want directions as well, you can go to firstlegoleague.org slash season resources. And we will scroll down here to where it says First Lego League Discover, Explore, and Challenge, and we're gonna click on Challenge. We're gonna go down here to our robot, our mission model building instructions, and we will view those. The model we're gonna be building today is bag number 11. So I'll pull up my directions to follow along or to guide me. And we are building the virtual reality sculptor. And so this is bag number 11 in your mission models with no extra pieces. So the very first thing we'll do is put out one of those white squares and add a couple of Technic connector pieces. Those go on to the right side. And then on the other side, we are gonna add a blue connector piece as well as another black connector piece. So we'll lay this down on the table so we can get some leverage and put four connector pieces into the corners of our rectangle facing up. And then onto the end of it, we're gonna add a white beam on both sides and it looks like we leave a gap on each side so that this will line up just right. That extra long blue piece hangs over just a little bit. Now it's time for us to make one of our gear mechanisms and we are gonna use one of these black pieces. And I want solid face to be on the outside, so I'm gonna build on this side of it. And I use one of these gray connector pieces and they spin pretty well. And then I'm gonna use my brown axle that is five pegs long, and it'll lock into place on that side. We'll put our tan gear right up against that, locking it into place, followed by a worm gear. That worm gear slides right on, and then we will lock everything in when, with one of these white axle extenders. So that spins just fine. It's just locked into place over here. Now we are ready to attach this onto our rectangle we already have built. And so we've got a good start to our base already. Next up, we're gonna be using the other one of these black wall pieces, and we'll start by putting a blue piece into the smooth face. This will be the outside, and then we'll just attach that right on there. And I see this axle extender, I can see through it. So we're gonna probably lock that in in a future step. 
All right, next up, four more black connector pieces into the four corners of our base that we've built. And now we're gonna build another white rectangle, but this time we're gonna put a very small red connector piece right there in the front. And once that's on, we will place it on top of our base, holding everything in pretty tight. It's looking good. Next, we'll need our black L-shaped beams, as well as a tan connector piece that goes in the tip of the L, and a black friction piece that goes there just past the corner. And this is going to attach onto this first, or the top blue piece. And so it's loose right now, it does wobble just a little bit, but we'll be locking that piece in in the next step. Now we're gonna use this odd looking axle piece it's got a little smooth area there and axles on both sides of it. And this yellow clover. The clover goes on the short side of the axle. The long side of the axle is gonna go through, locking in. And now when you spin that, it'll spin our worm, worm gear. We're doing great. We've got the base just about finished. All right, next up is an axle that looks like it's got a Lego piece on the other end of it. I'm gonna orient it this way and put the yellow right there. And then we're gonna finish this off by attaching a white axle thread onto it. And then this piece is going to go around and attach inside here. So we're gonna attach it to the gray piece and what this does, once we get it attached, there we go. I can't spin this backwards, but I can spin it forward. So this locks our gear from only going one direction. All right, I'm gonna turn it back around so that we're ready, facing like that. And we're gonna need a couple of these white pieces I need the ones with the axles on both ends and two connector pieces. And the way these will go together, they're going to line up with the holes facing opposite directions. And then I'm gonna put the connector piece on the back side of both of them. And then this piece is going to plug in on the very front of our model, so right here. Makes our base a little more solid. All right, we are gonna add right here a gray hitch, and next to that, on top of this red piece, which lets us connect regular Legos to it, we're gonna attach our lavender circle. This lavender circle is what the judge is going to look at to make sure that our chicken has turned far enough in order to get maximum points. All right, our next step, we need a black axle as well as a gray coupler axle connector, and then our small gear. These gears are some of my favorite. You don't usually get them in the Spike Prime kits, but they do an excellent job of just working with a lot of other gear sizes. So it attaches in that order, and then it is going to go directly into the front of this, so that as this spins, you can see our worm gear has this to lock it in place, and then it spins our tiny eight tooth gear a very small amount each time around. You could count how many times it takes you to turn this yellow wheel to see how many times it takes before this turns one whole time, and I bet that's gonna be a pretty high number. All right, moving on to our next step. We need a couple of these axle beam connectors, a couple of these red mini axles, we're gonna use a couple black Technic connector pieces and one of these axle connectors with the hole in the middle. And the way this is gonna to go together, the axle with the hole in the middle, we'll attach a red piece on both sides. And then we will attach these pieces so that it is facing the opposite direction of the hole in the front. So if this hole's going 
forward and backwards. This one should be facing up and down. Turn it this way. As you see a little bit better. I'll set it down to get some leverage and I've put a black connector piece into both spots. It's going to face up and it attaches right here on the front side and it'll go just over this piece. Now we've lined those pieces up so that we can put a black axle and Technic connector piece right through it. We have to turn it just a little bit. Now I can see that as I turn this, that black piece starts to turn on top. Let's keep building. We have another white connector piece, and I'll say when my students built this, they forgot this piece and it caused the bot or the mission model not to work perfectly, but that attaches to the side onto the blue and the black connector pieces. Now we're gonna start building the mission arm. So you're gonna need this yellow piece as well as a few of the red pieces that have an axle onto it, so it'll just attach right there. We'll put a blue one in the second spot with the short side and another one of these red long axle pieces into it. And then we will put a short orange piece, a three long orange piece, one of them, and then a second one to cover it up. So you should end up with an arm just like that. And then this arm, we're gonna flip over so that the bend is pointing at us and the bend is going to attach to the gray connector piece. So it'll turn this way, but won't go past that. When it rests, it'll rest right on this blue piece. So that arm looks pretty good, but now it's time to attach it. So we will take a white piece like that, another axle piece, and this one is four long, and then we need a couple of, one long tan, piece and then two more, or no, just one of those. So four pieces total and we will attach the white piece to the end of the axle. We will put this tan piece through it so there's one little tan piece hanging out both sides. We'll put another axle here on the bottom facing the same direction and in this one we will put a very small tan to axle piece right down there. And so you'll end up with this pretty cool piece and this tan piece should be able to spin without an issue. And these are going to attach into our beam. So one tan piece goes this way, the other one should hang down right here. You'll know you've done it right if you press it and it can push the yellow clover. And if it's not able to push it right now, you may want to double check how you've attached it. Now we still have some exposed pieces that we are going to be covering up. So our next step, we're going to build something similar, but this time it's going to use a gray three long axle, another gray spinning Technic connector, and then two more of these caps. So cap goes on the yellow. And then on the bottom side, we want them both facing the same direction and our gray piece will go right down here. And this is going to attach, and this is just another way to stop it from going forward, because you'll see it runs into the front. We are ready now, I think, to build a person. So we're gonna take this black piece, smooth side facing up. You'll see there's a grooved area, but the smooth side is going to face up and we're gonna put two long blue pieces into the bottom of it so the long pieces are hanging out. Next, we'll take a couple black friction pieces and put them into the side, and there are three slots they can go into. It appears they're gonna go into the top two, and then on the other side, we're gonna put one gray piece that can turn and two more of these red Technic to Lego connectors so that we can attach something onto the front of that using just the Lego pieces that we have. Next we need two of these short two long beams and they are going to go onto our blue piece facing forward. We're starting to make a person here, little feet, some eyes, 
but we don't want those to be the eyes. So now we can attach a Lego plate to that. And on top of that Lego plate, we can give them some eyes. So we are attaching these corner pieces that have a single Lego peg on either side, just like that. On those are his eyes, but we need to cover those up. It's starting to look like a VR visor. And let's give them a nose. Just one of those little peg pieces sitting down. And no person would be complete without a couple of arms, so we're gonna use these yellow L shapes. You'll see that this one is on the gray and can move. This one, though, is attached in two spots with the black friction pieces and cannot move. I'm gonna lay my person down, arms face up whenever he's pressed onto the ground, just to show you what he looks like, and he is ready to attach. Let me fix this foot. He's ready to attach onto our base. So I have my person there. One more thing we are gonna do, this gray piece that's hanging down is gonna just attach into the arm. Now, it looks like his arm is moving every time we pull. All right, we need our VR sculptor to be making something, so we're gonna create a chicken using these pieces. And so we have that red two-piece beam. I'm gonna put a Technic to Lego connector piece right in the front of it, right there. On top of that, the chicken's foot, which is a yellow peg. Now, this is a traditional chicken, so we will put the white body on top. And then on top of that, we need a orange beak. And then that thing that's on top of a chicken's head will be represented by this red piece. So there's our little chicken. And our little chicken is going to attach right there. And because it's on a friction plate, it doesn't spin if we turn it. Um, it doesn't spin freely anyway. But as we start to hit the arm, that chicken will spin. All right, let's put them all the way back to the starting location. And we need a way for this arm to go back to its original starting spot. So we attached the rubber onto the wheel, and this wheel is going to attach onto this red piece in the back to add a little bit of extra weight to it and cushion it. And this is it, this is our virtual reality sculptor. And so the design is pretty great using a worm gear to turn it using this arm to lock the tan gear in place so it can only go in one direction. Now your challenge is to design a robot that's gonna be able to drive over to this and pull this probably 20 different times so that your chicken can go all the way around until it's over this lavender piece. And so that's what a judge is looking for. If it's over the lavender piece, you can get full credit. If you are building along with the mission model pieces, here are some of our leftover pieces from the mission bag. So we did not use those pieces. Just get those out a little bit farther. And you can see that there's just a few pieces left over that we didn't need, and a lot of them are just duplicates of something we used earlier. Hope you enjoyed this build. Can't wait to see what kind of robot you come up with in order to solve the VR sculptor. Thank you.